Good afternoon and welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Cook, Serve, Delicious where I am just about to pull my hair out with this brain teaser challenge. This is so, so difficult. Um, like it's crazy hard. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into that and then if we complete this, we will move on to our new game plus and try that out. Uh, so, um, onion, tomato, onion, chicken, onion, red pepper. Uh, elk wine. Come on! Sour cream, bacon, onions. We got ham, bow tie, cheese, cabbage, flambe. We got rice seasoning, potatoes, celery, and that. And that. We got chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. We got cheese, sour cream, butter, olives. Shit, I just did onions. Yeah, there we go, there's that. Okay, let's retry again. Now, I had been consistently getting to wave five with occasional mess ups like that. So, um, you know, at least we're getting there it's just it's so difficult it is so so difficult serpent beard butter and meat we got chicken bow tie seasoning potatoes carrots and cabbages go ahead and knock this out very 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 quickly and there we go and tomato, carrot, celery, cabbage, that, and okay, ham, bow tie, cheese, cabbage, zucchini, garlic, onion, cheese, sour cream, butter, and bacon, cheese, sour cream, bacon, and meat. Okay, we got tomato, meat, chicken, tomato, meat, chicken, green, and men. Okay. It's about to start getting tougher. As if this hasn't been bad enough, it's about to get much, much more difficult. Serpent beard. Um, chicken bow tie bouillon and celery. Got that going out. Cheese, butter, chives, bacon, onion, olives, and spices. Chicken meat, rice, bouillon, seasoning. Bacon and celery. What's going on? Uh, green, red, onion, green, red, onion, meat, chicken. Okay, cheese, sour cream, butter, bacon. Okay, tomato, green, red, tomato, green, red, meat, chicken. Um, okay, shit, it could <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's try this one more time. God, it's so difficult. So difficult. Pineapple, tomato, pineapple, meat, pineapple, chicken, pineapple, onion. Okay. Yeah, come on. Cheese, sour cream, butter, olive spices. We got chicken bow tie seasoning, potatoes. Carriage, cabbages. Come on, come on, come on. I got things to be doing here. I asked them to send me some help and they don't send me any help. Alright, so I got chicken, tomato, chicken, green, red, onion, pineapple, squash. We got butter and meat. We got chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. Five and seven. Let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Uh, delicious dish. Okay. Make another delicious dish. Uh, bow tie, bouillon, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, and celery. We got cheese, sour cream, butter, and bacon. We got tomatoes, carrots, celery. Cabbage and peppers. Um, okay. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got meat, chicken, onion, meat, chicken, onion, green pepper, onion. Um, that's, okay, that's going in. That's done. We got green, red, onion, green, red, onion, tomato, onion. Seven and six, cheese, butter, chives, bacon, onion, olives, spices. Cheese, butter, chives, bacon, onion, olives, spices. Okay, get that out. Seasoning, potatoes, celery, beans, oh my god. Um, elk wine, come on! There we go. Um, chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. We got uh, green, red, green, red, green, red, tomato, meat. Okay, we got that going out. We got spices, broccoli, queso, meat. Uh, B and S are six and four and that and that. That going out. We got meat, chicken, meat, chicken, meat, chicken, green and tomato. Nothing on it. Sounds good to me. And then two. Uh, pineapple squash, pineapple squash, pineapple squash. Meat chicken. Uh, shit. Come on. Then we gotta get that potato. Chives, bacon, spices, queso meat. Uh, green, red, green, red, green, red, tomato meat. We got chicken, onion, pineapple, chicken, onion, pineapple, tomato meat. We got onion, tomato, onion, chicken, onion, green pepper, onion, red pepper. God. Okay, we got green, red, onion, green, red, onion, meat, chicken. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, how are we gonna do it? I've honestly been working on this for like an hour. Just this challenge. Oh my god, challenge complete. You've been extreme difficulty crazy. Three blue stars awarded. Yes. Oh my god. This is fucking crazy. Okay. Oh, we got Shovel Knight. I've actually got that game maxed on Steam. Or the original. I don't know about since the DLC came out. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. My heart has been pounding. I'm probably going to die in the next 30 minutes because... Oh my god, that's been terrible. Okay, let's jump back to career mode. And let's start a new... No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong career mode. Wrong. Okay, let's bounce back out. And, okay, let's go to, I guess, load game or something. Yeah, new game. Okay, you now have the option to begin a new game plus save file. This will import your customer count and achievement progress for food pins from your Platinum Star save. Delicious. Adds 50% buzz forever, gives you a $15,000 starting bonus, unlocks all secondary foods, Starts with six prep stations, disables the munchies detractor, decreases customer patience, and introduces a new super rush hour. This mode is almost impossible. It will likely destroy you. Choose wisely below and good luck. Awesome! Super rush hour sounds great. Let's do New Game Plus. Oh god. Oh, we have to select a character. Shovel Knight. I like him. Okay, so, Cooks Are Delicious 2. Intense Hardcore Rex. Oh, that's, they made a new one apparently. Um, so, I guess that's just an advertisement for the, the new one. Um, good luck on your opening day. I just wanted to congratulate you on your opening day. It always feels so overwhelming, doesn't it? I know that you have the chops to run a successful business, and hopefully our paths will cross sometimes in the future. Drop by the Iron Chef studio sometime, and I can get you some audience tickets. Good luck. <clears throat> cool. Welcome to Sherry Soda email clients. Uh, we've already covered all that. And cooks our delicious patch notes. Um... Yeah. Okay, it's just patch notes. Okay, anyway, so we start out with 80% buzz, start with $15,000. Let's take a look here. What foods do we have? God, we got everything unlocked, like right out the gate. Do we start out with all the equipment to cook everything? No. Hmm. I guess it just lets us. 
cook everything. Okay, uh, anyway, um, the first foods that we are going to start with, let's see, how many foods do we need to pick for our first day? Four. Okay, couldn't remember, because I'm used to six. So we are going to go with fish, of course. I like fish. And then we are also going to go with lasagna. I've actually grown to really enjoy lasagna. Um, we are also going to go with... Some kebabs! Uh, you know what? Just because we've got them coming up again, let's get kebabs. Not excited about it, but let's go ahead and get them and we're going to get sushi. So, fish isn't too bad. The rest of our menu kind of sucks. Okay. Let's load it in. So we are up to 90% buzz on day one as a zero star restaurant. And like we're, we're a no star restaurant, nobody's heard of us and we're serving fish, lasagna, sushi, and kebab. So kind of an interesting interesting uh, choice selection, but we still have almost $10,000. So that's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and do this and see what this is all about. Extreme difficulty it says up there. Seasoning, oh yeah, we don't do lemon in right now. That's gonna be like super easy then. Uh, tomato meat, chicken, tomato, green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper. Okay, I guess that's right. Tomato meat, chicken, tomato meat, chicken, green and red. Um, chicken, tomato, chicken, tomato, chicken, green pepper, chicken, red pepper. Oh god. Abby, roe, toro, and tuna. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to kebabs, like they're hella confusing. Roll, toro, tuna. Alright, tomato, red pepper, tomato, red pepper, red, tomato, red pepper, meat, green pepper. Oh, we got that old, like, dingy toilet again. Um, when I come over to the tuna, it takes me a second, or the, the sushi, it takes me a second because I feel like, I'm like, oh, I need to, like, separate these and stuff. Then I'm like, oh wait, no, I'm not doing uh, kebabs right now. Happy row, toro, and tuna. The ninja guy just came in. I don't remember him ever like coming into our shop before. Oh god, Happy row. Oh my god. Um. How in the hell? Oh my god. Oh yeah, we got shitty trash again. I don't love this. No. Um. Ah, fuck it. I don't even know. Okay, tomato meat, chicken, tomato meat, chicken, grain and red. Yeah, this is not going to be a possible thing with this with this group of foods. Okay, um green red, green red, green red, tomato and meat. Oh god. Oh, we just got an achievement though, Super Rush Hour, for, oh, forget, we got to do like a million bags of trash right now. God, feels so old. Hey, okay, green, red, green, red, green, red, tomato, meat, all right, and Abby, row. Toro and Tunas. And okay. God, that extreme rush hour is crazy time. Like, oh my god. Like, maybe if we had like corn dog, pretzel, and all that shit on the menu, we might be able to, to get a perfect on one of these days, but. We might try it, just to be like, oh look, 
I think that's what we're going to do. Next day, we're going to do like the easiest possible menu that we can come up with. God, all the trash. Um, tomato, red pepper, tomato, red pepper, tomato, red pepper, and green pepper. We've got that fish. Chicken, meat, chicken, meat, chicken, tomato. God. Okay, we got tomato, meat, chicken, tomato, meat, chicken, green and red. It feels like it's pretty safe to say that making bats with that guy is probably not in our favor in this mode. I'm just guessing. Like, honestly, this is harder than Rush Hour. We're just sitting here doing, like, the standard customers that are coming in. Fucking uh, hello. That's wrong. It's like a, there's a fire! There's like a fire in our restaurant! What is this? I guess it's just showing that there's so many customers there like burning up the floor. That lasagna's not getting done. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, taking all this food, I was like, oh, well, it might make it a little bit more challenging and make it a little bit more fun. No, fuck that. It's already, it's already on. Like, they're like bringing the heat right here. Uh, red, tomato, red, tomato, red, meat and green peppers, and there you go. Oh my god. Alright, green, red, tomato, green, red, meat, chicken. Alright, we got, uh, chicken, chicken. Tomato, chicken, tomato, chicken, green, chicken, red. Alright, there you go. There's all, like, all kinds of food. Here you go, Abby. Whoa, Toro Tuna. Oh my god. Alright, there's that, and let's do some more lasagna. Okay. Tomato, green, red, tomato, green, red, meat, chicken. Holy balls. Oh god. And I thought those strike challenges were like the hardest thing ever. But, like, if you were to load up difficult foods on this, this is the end all be all of difficult. Like, they don't make chicken, they don't make chicken green red. And we only have six prep stations right now. Like, just wait, it's gonna get so much harder. But, like, I believe. This mode is not meant to be... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, but your food was not ready yet. Shit, come on. Okay. My hands are tired. Like, my hands are honestly exhausted right now. Like, I don't know if you guys realize. Like, after trying to do that challenge for like an hour and finally getting it, like, you gotta be like... Motherfucking keyboard cat to like to do those challenges, those strike challenges. And then on top of that, you come here and they're like, food! We want all the food! Like, all at the same time. We didn't do so bad though. We served 97 customers, 89 perfects, one average, seven bats. And the bats are mainly because shit fell off. And we did miss one chore. So it is what it is, but that's not so bad for our very first day. Okay, it looks like our checklist is different. Um, complete 20 days of service. Get a 12 times perfect combo on three separate days. Buy six standard food drinks for your menu. We bought two. Oh, that's standard. Make over $100 in tips. Tip jar required. Pass a safety inspection. Serve four foods in one day. And have at least 10% positive buzz from customers. I don't know if that's different or not. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a beer upgrade. More about upgrades. New item, the tip jar. And all of the gravy. Do you know? Of course you don't. Extension 299 for all the secrets revealed. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the tip jar. 50 bucks. It's worth it. Every bit of it. And honestly, do we want to go ahead and get these things? Let's go ahead and get these things. Just to have them out of the way. Okay. Um, 
So we are going to go for the four easiest possible foods. Fish is one of those. We are going to do fish for sure. Um, we are also going to do pretzels. We don't need to try out any foods. We know all the foods now. We're going to do corn dogs. And we are going to do something else that's easy. Hmm. Salad. We like salad. Okay, let's get salad. All right. And let's adjust our active menu. Now, normal days, I probably will do these more difficult foods. I'd like to get practice on these things and, and whatnot. Um, but, oh, you know what? This is actually really, really easy, too. Actually, we're going to do this. Honestly, at this stage, lasagna is easier than salad, I think. Because it's always the same thing. Just PSCR, PSCR, PSCR every, day, every time. We're sitting at 113% buzz right now. It's going to be terrible. All right, so we're going to aim for a perfect day. Don't uh, don't quote me on that, but we shall see. Just mustard. Sounds good. Oh, God damn, this trash is going to kill me. God, it's like they order, and then it's they're like waiting for it already. Like they don't have um, any patience at this at this uh, stage in the game. But I tell you what, we will be able to make money at a very good rate once we get built up, because um, generally the like the more customers you have, of course, once you get comfortable with foods at a certain speed, the more money you're gonna make, like steaks and stuff like that. If we start bumping out steaks at this crazy amount of buzz and like super rush hours and stuff. I mean, granted, we're not going to get perfects, perfect days. It's going to be like a chore to get a perfect day at all on this mode, I think. We're going to have to, like, build the um, menu just for, like, aiming for a perfect day to even have a shot at it. Come on. Just mustard. We got to catch up. They're burning down my store! Oh, hell! Um, salt. Cinnamon. And butter. Butter and cinnamon. Oh fucking come on, trash. Ketchup mustard. Nothing on it. We got butter and cinnamon. We got mustard. We got mustard. I never thought corn dogs would be so fucking hard. Just mustard. We got mustard. Come on! Okay! Cinnamon. Come on, trash. I don't remember... When we started this before... Like, started the game fresh and everything. I don't remember it being anything like this. Like, even with, like, the easiest foods in the game to me. Like, this is pretty stout. Oh, my God. Alright. Because I'm trying to keep track of what all's cooking and what all's not cooking and everything. And Oh, God. I mean, it's just, like, now after, like, the lunch... The lunch... The lunch rush hour... And we've already got, like, hella customers. I mean, we had days in the past where that was, like, all the customers we got was, like, 70. I remember them explicitly. Nothing on it. I mean, it is just nonstop. I mean, look at look at the people. I don't know if you've taken the, the time to look at the people. Just, like just rolling through this place. Like, it's like a fucking drive through here. I 
And then we gotta take out the trash. Because we're serving too many customers. Get the hell out of my restaurant. Oh my god. My hands are so tired right now. And like... Honestly... Like I play games like all day. And for me to say my hands are tired... Is not something... Oh shit! I pulled the fish off before it was ready. Now there went our perfect day. But anyway, for me to say that my hands are tired... Come on. Butter and cinnamon, we got all this shit. Nothing on it. They're burning in my store again. Help! Just cinnamon. Oh, we got ketchup mustard going out. We got mustard. We got mustard. Salt on that. Come on, mustard. Ketchup. Ketchup. Salt. There I go. Come on, take the trash out. That's like a ma major uh, buzz killer right there. Ketchup, mustard, ketchup, uh, salt. We got ketchup, mustard. All right. Okay, salt and butter. Oh my god. Alright. I bet we're gonna have like a record high number of customers served. Ketchup mustard. Mustard. Look at that. Ketchup and mustard. Okay. God, I've never had such difficult damn corn dogs in my life. All my life. Alright. Get those dishes done. Come on. Alright. Butter and cinnamon. Fucking trash. Cool. Nothing on it, all right. Okay. I cannot believe I messed up and pulled that damn fish out early. So that we're not going to get a perfect day out of that. Because that would have totally been an achievement. If we had... And not an easy one, I'm sure. We made... Oh, God. We served 163 customers. That is over double what our normal days were on the other restaurant. Now, granted, we had some really fast foods, easy prep stuff. But 163 customers. One bad. And that was just because I accidentally pulled the fish off too fast. Cannot believe it. But we did earn $32 in tips. That's almost half of what we need to get our uh, one-star restaurant. We also almost made $1,000 in a day. Fairly close to $1,000. 81% positive buzz, 0.5 negative buzz, which is probably from the bad customer. And we did all of our chores, too. That was a very, very good day. Very, very good day. But um, no cigar. So, anyway, let's take a look. Just wanted to share the wealth. We got $250 for that. Fried chicken upgrade. We got more about email attachments. Menu right. Try the Tube Foods restaurant. Want a quick bite to eat but have limited time to get back to your cubicle? Try the Tube Foods restaurant. Located on the 55th floor of the Sherry Soda Tower. We have all your favorite foods such as mashed potatoes, broccoli soup, and meatloaf in a convenient squeezable tube that you can take wherever you go. Want to save some for later? Just twist the cap back and those potatoes will be ready to eat whenever you are. Print out this email for a free junior tube of shrimp scampi. Tube Foods Extension 704 blah 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 blah. Open 9 to 4 daily. Well we're open more hours. 
And your daily fortune, 9, 23, 24, 35, 44, 47, 58 is our lucky numbers. And funny story, 23 is actually my lucky number, my favorite number. Um, something worthwhile is hard. Of course it's hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. Dugan. Animal to avoid today is the hamster. All right. And I do believe we are going to wrap up the episode there. Um, for starters, it is about wrapping up point. And secondly, my hands are just about to fall off. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. If you did, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And make sure, uh, let me know what you think in the comments or something. Um, let me know what you think about New Game Plus mode <laughs> and these crazy challenges that we've been um, been going at. And if you guys want to uh, tell me what foods to make, on the next day or something um, if you want to let me know in the comments I will be sure to get those on the menu as quickly as possible um, now generally I do record the videos a day ahead um, <clears throat> but it just depends so um, you know if you comment and it's not on the next episode or something um, it's not because I didn't read your comment it's just because sometimes I do record a day ahead um, but yeah, if you want to tell me what crazy foods to put on the menu all at the same time, if you want kebabs, nachos, lasagna, or maybe not lasagna, lasagna's gotten easy, um, but just however crazy you want to make it, if you want me to attempt it, I will. I've gotten to the point I'm fairly comfortable with all the foods, even kebabs, even though I hate kebabs, um, but I'm getting more comfortable with them. I have been practicing with them and stuff, so, um, but anyway, until next episode, do take care, and I do hope to see you guys then.